What did you find? Oh, that's cute. Hey, it's a big rock. It's a fish rock. We found it in a tree down the park. Oh, I like it. There's this Facebook page called Oaky Rocks. And we found an Oaky Rock. That you find the rocks, or people will post them when they um, put them out somewhere. You can keep them or rehide them. Amanda had originally told me about them. I think the whole thing kind of started in Idaho at Mountain Home. And she had told me that they kind of started doing it here. So then when we got back, Calvin had actually found one under the Shisa out front of the BX. So now he's found two rocks. But I, um, I lost my one. I think it's um, at Mari's house. Let's find the, go, to, go up, go up. And one of the rainbow ones. Uh, we'll have to find some rocks so we can paint them and put them out. That would be really cool. And someone could find them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go look for these ones at Foster Fatenma. So I think we're going to go look for some more rocks. We just got to Fatenma and parked. And we're going to go and look for some rocks. Because the ones that were just posted said that they're on Foster and Fatenma. So we're and, hitting up Fatenma first. And if I see any rock, I'll put them in here. All right. Calvin's going to put them in his bag. Ooh. It's a warm one today. With no luck on Futenma, we're now trying Camp Foster. We'll see how long Calvin lasts. I think he's gonna fall asleep. Are you? Oh, okay, that's good. Travis is walking over to JSVRO, which is over there. We need to JCI his car soon, so he's walking over to see if they have like a checklist of things that they look for, just to make sure that you know, his are squared away, everything's in working order like it should be, so that he knows he'll pass JCI, and I'm gonna fall off this curb. We are at Coco's now, and I didn't know this at the time, but when Angel added me, added me to their reservation, she took her off and added me because there wasn't another spot for me. So just to add to how bad I feel lately, that makes me feel worse. No, it shouldn't. But Travis and Calvin were headed home and ran out of gas. So once Angel got here, she let them borrow her car to go and get gas to put in our car. Ay ay ay. So first thing, you get to choose an oil that you want to put on your legs. And they all do, are supposed to help with different things like muscle fatigue and tension and then like PMS and good circulation and calming mind, reduces headaches, they're good for sore throat, increase positive mood, all those sorts of things. And I think right now I need to increase my positive mood. So that's the one I'm going with. And within flipping through the first page, I think I've already found the one that I want because it's floral print. And I have a problem with floral print. I also like this one and this one. And this one. I'm pretty relaxed. And this one. And this one. Pineapple! And this one's really cute. And this one's really cute. And there's another pineapple. More pineapples. Oh my gosh. Now we soak our feet, but I think my legs are way too long because they both get stools and I don't. <laughs> I've made a mistake. I thought I had decided on one because they usually have like their original designs in the very front of the book but it's usually one page not multiple pages so I turned the page and there's so many more that I like and there's more oh and these are so cute I don't know what I'm doing with my life now. I honestly have no idea. And I'm gonna apologize to everyone right now because I don't have a single lick of makeup on right now and I feel like I look ridiculous with all my freckles right now. <laughs> Bronzing butter. That's all I have on. I don't have any makeup on. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my freckles.
We are home now, and they stopped by the post office and got in Travis's part that he needs for his car, which is what? Two of our end links. I don't know what that is, but he's gonna fix that so that he can JCI it, and then we'll have two cars again until we sell it. And, um, um, mommy's car ran out of gas. Mm-hmm. You guys ran out of gas at a quarter of a tank. Mm-hmm. Not sure how that happened. As soon as we got in the parking spot, dead. Dead. Dead car. Nothing else you could do, huh? Mm-hmm. Like, yep. dead car. hate when that happens. Mm -hmm. I have been working on videos for the last little while and just got it uploaded. We found a lawnmower that someone was throwing out. Travis cleaned it up and it's going to give it to a guy he works with. We are now at the shop at on Shields because we're getting some snacks before we go to the Courtney movie theater, Camp Courtney movie theater, and see War for the Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Thank you. Got some hand sanitizer. And what did you just find? We found a butterfly oaky rock. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, it's heavy. Ooh. Is it a big one? Yeah, but. Let's see. What does it say? It says rehide me. No. I don't want to. It looks like a spotlight. That looks so crazy. It looks so crazy. The light outside. And we also have this nice view of the ocean. I thought there was going to be considerably more traffic to Camp Courtney, so we're here like 40 minutes early. Travis just saw a post on the Oki Rocks page that says that someone put a bunch of rocks around Camp Courtney. So we're going to see if we can't find some within walking distance and maybe find our third rock for the day. I found two Oki Rocks today, friends, and I have to find like today. You want to find five? Yeah, like one, Well, that's two, being a bit overzealous. Five. This many five. Well, just like earlier today, this Oki rock search was a bust, which I forgot to update on, but no, we didn't find anything earlier until we stopped looking and found one at the shopette. I don't know why they're so hard to find. I don't know if we're just looking like in the wrong places. I would assume they would be like, you know, places everyone goes but I think we're wrong. Dead cicada! Now that I'm sweating from walking up that huge hill, we're gonna grab our mystery bags and head inside. So I think we have, what, 15 minutes? Yeah. Ish. That movie was definitely way longer than I was expecting. It was two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Mole mole. What did you think? I thought it was good. I like those movies though. I've never seen any of them before, yeah. and I liked it, actually. Now I'm gonna have to watch the other ones. I think there's two more. Planet of the Apes and Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and then there's Planet of the Apes, and then there's War for the Planet of the Apes, I think. Well dang, I thought it was pretty good. So if you have a chance, go and see it. Because I didn't think I'd like that kind of movie, but I actually liked it. Dang, I just got on the computer and noticed we're at 282. That's so exciting. But I'm going to reply to some comments really quick and then we are headed to bed because Travis works tomorrow. So we'll be getting up at 4 because I'm taking him to work. Because we're doing something with Zeke tomorrow. But you don't get to know until tomorrow. So for now, that is that and we'll see you when we see you. Bye! I got guns in my head and they won't go. Spirits in my head and they won't go.